Welcome back. The newly elected mayor of Nelson Mandela Bay in Waba Banga has welcomed the decline in COVID-19 infections in the area. The Nelson Mandela Bay saw a flare-up of infections about two months ago, but daily infections have been declining steadily. To discuss, we're joined by the mayor, Mr. Banga, tonight. Uh, mayor, thank you for, for being with us. Uh, r reports suggest that you are currently cautiously optimistic. Is that correct? Yes, uh, we are cautiously optimistic uh, as the average of coronavirus has, has dropped, is dropping uh, into our city. The reason for that is that uh, COVID-19 is not detectable. Uh, numbers change day by day. Uh, but we welcome what has happened uh, because uh, the numbers are showing that uh, uh, between the, the, the 4th of uh, December to the 10th of December, the average of COVID infections were around 416 uh, positive cases that were reported now. Between the 11th to the 17th, it has been around uh, 227. Yeah. And this is because of a collective effort uh, by the Department of Health, both uh, uh, provincially and nationally, and also our local stakeholders, businesses, and also the strategies were put in place around enforcing um, regulation and law and, and order through putting up roadblocks everywhere and also closing places that were hotspot in particular people who were not uh, following regulations. We were yeah. very strict and our communication was very clear that all of us uh, with the residents we must work hand in hand to make sure that we're partners in stopping COVID-19. And our residents welcome the roadblocks we put and when we're closing taverns and restaurants we're not complying. And people welcome uh, cooperating. Therefore, that helped. And we have intensified uh, communication uh, in the city to make sure that as political leadership we become ambassadors and also administrative leadership and also stakeholders like our health workers, like our hospitals that we work hand in hand with a uh, private sector like VWSA. We intensify that message because people want to hear a message from leadership and then they join a partnership. But we're not saying we're winning, uh, but we're saying our message, it seems as if it, it's working. Yeah. We're going to intensify it uh, to make sure that uh, the coming days we communicate more, we enforce more. But what we want from the people is for them to understand that we can only win on COVID-19 if people get a partner with government and business and all stakeholders, including churches and tavern owners and restaurant owners. Because we have to save lives in order to save to save livelihood. COVID nineteen is rare, and I have lost a lot of friends this morning. I've lost my 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 my, my, my one of my relatives this morning. Uh, therefore, it it doesn't go far. It it comes to us directly. Therefore, people should understand that PE is a hotspot, and we should act responsibly yeah. according to COVID-19. Well, our, our condolences to you, uh, Mayor. And look, so many other areas are going to look at Nelson Mandela Bay right now. We, we looked at a graph a little earlier uh, showing that the Eastern Cape was the only one showing sort of a leveling off of infections. The other provinces are just sort of heading up into the, the stratosphere. What about the, the early measures? Because, of course, Nelson Mandela Bay was this hot spot. Then you had the, the curfew, still different, 10 p.m., uh, that that earlier sort of uh, regulations, uh, did, did that really help Nelson Mandela Bay? I think uh, the partnership we had um, with uh, the provincial government, and I think the Premier uh, was uh, in, the, in the forefront. I've been in a number of meetings. We're communicating the same message. Um, and also our local leadership has been very clear. And we've been communicating consistently uh, with the provincial government. And I think everybody and we made a call together with the Premier and other mayors saying this is a war situation. Uh, it's like a war situation, therefore uh, there's no time for squabbles. It's for us to hold hands together and make sure that as a nation and as a province we fight this together. And they've been assisting us, regardless of uh, where are we and what are the politics of this city. We've been working together. They've been listening to our message. And our message has been very clear. And I've been communicating to people that we need to make sure that we communicate in volume in order to educate our people and also partner with them 
that COVID-19 is a danger to all of us. We should yeah. fight it together. And that reaction from residents, they've been welcoming because people want to be engaged. People want to be involved. And our residents are starting to be involved. They are taking this as a responsibility. We have not been chasing people if we go to our, to our beaches because people are just complying. Yeah. Because people are responsible. We must not always think that our people are not responsible. And I've been welcoming that kind of a call because we've been sending uh, WhatsApp messages to them, communicating, and forcing the curfew. The curfew must be enforced to make sure that there's law and order. We're putting roadblocks all over. If you come to Port Elizabeth, because it's not only about COVID-19, it's also about safety and security, and it's working. If I can tell you the way points of getting out of these roadblocks, Therefore, we're protecting also people and people understand and they welcome this. They are not fighting with the police yeah. and the police are not fighting with the people who are engaging and are educating them. So I'm glad you brought up beaches and you said there's, there's compliance there. Uh, but what do you think about that move? Some people are questioning uh, whether it was a good idea to close uh, beaches across the province, uh, questioning whether that, that may not uh, move people from sort of out in the open air, separated from each other, uh, to indoors, uh, kind of squished together. Uh, you remember, uh, uh, I propose a, a view to the president that... Uh, we don't support necessarily closing beaches uh, also in Nelson Mandela. I propose certain dates uh, to be considered uh, by the president because our fear, as I've raised in the Command Council of the President, that we must uh, uh, also save livelihoods. In Nelson Mandela, we have lost a number of jobs uh, in the hospitality industry, the boardwalk, restaurants have closed. This has affected us very heavily uh, in the city. And I've raised that issue, that, and then I said, we must also save lives. But the president has given direction. Um, I represent government here, um, therefore uh, uh, regulations have been put in place, and my duty as an official of government is to implement those uh, regulations. But uh, what has been positive is that uh, our people in the city um, have not been uh, necessarily uh, not following uh, the regulation. Yeah. What we will not, not accept is gatherings. Uh, if there are big gatherings, uh, people playing music, drinking uh, uh, alcohol will not accept that. And we will make sure that there is uh, enforcement. Therefore, our approach uh, is that it's very flexible. We are assessing each day and, and, and night what is happening and how people are conducting themselves. I think people of the Bay, they yeah. are working very well to understand that COVID-19, it's serious, and uh, it's, it's with us in the Bay. We are a problematic area. We are fighting it together, and I think we're getting there. And we don't want to be opponents and enemies of the people or the people be enemies of us because we serve the people. We'll work hand in hand and make sure that we have something that works. And so far, the, the residents are working so well with us and are responding to our messages. Mr. Mayor, final question. Uh, do you think that we're getting the, the real picture? And, and I know you're not speaking from a science perspective, but we did speak to a scientist earlier uh, who was saying that not enough testing is being done. So, so maybe we're not picking up all the cases. Um, in, in the Eastern Cape, it's, it's not clear if uh, there's less hospitalizations or if the hospitals are actually getting full. And that's why the hospital uh, new hospitalizations are going down. What are you seeing on the ground? Uh, I must say that the efforts are there. We have mobile test testing centers in the city as we speak who go to each and every area uh, free of charge for test people. Therefore, people can go and test. There are efforts. I can tell you that. So that's efforts on the ground. I'm sure even this drop and decline is because people were able to detect where people are. But we have to do more, uh, all of us. And I don't want us to shift planes uh, to, to anybody. But we need to put more resources to make sure that people get tested in order for us to be able to detect where the virus uh, is. And it should go to low, to wards, to units, to streets in order for us to get uh, uh, this. But I can say, you know, as I'm not a scientist, but if you see the report that we get in as far as what we have in hospitals, at least you can see even in the stabilization in private hospitals. In the past, we had a problem in the the private hospitals, but there's a bit of a decline there. And also uh, public hospitals at least are stabilizing. 
and also the VWU uh, hospital, uh, which uh, was open, it's also having only 200 people there. Therefore, our capacity uh, vis a vis the testing and the decline confirms, whilst I'm not a scientist, that kind of a movement of suppressing this because we're intensifying uh, testing. The Eastern Cape generally, uh, as we get reports, there are such efforts also uh, in the Eastern Cape. Uh, but the Eastern Cape is a rural province, as you know. Uh, it's difficult to reach in each and every part. We might be missing certain cases. But I know now when people die, are also uh, there's a post-mortem being done to check whether that person, what is it that made that person to die in order for us to trace also that for areas like that. Therefore, there is a bit of work uh, that is being done. The reports we're getting at the provincial level shows a kind of a coordination that is beginning to show. But in Nelson Mandela, we have a plan. Uh, we have a COVID-19 uh, sender that works with the university, works with business chamber, works with the with private hospitals and public hospitals and the, the VW center, provincial government, national club. Therefore, we get this information. We work together as a team to make sure that we respond to this. So far, and which our uh, strategies that we've put up in place as political leadership, so far, we're working so well together and with the South African police to make sure that our people are safe, who are saving lives and also saving livelihoods. All right. Uh, we appreciate your time today. Uh, that was Nelson Mandela Bay Mayor Ngoaba Banga.